Welcome to the lesson. In the previous presentation, we've been analyzing simple sentences with adverbial extensions. Now, if you feel the child is ready, maybe on another day, you can move to another um, adverbial extensions. Sometimes, actually, I prefer to use the same sentence and build on it because this is how the children really feel that how amazing we can stretch a sentence until we cover all the adverbial extensions. This also helps in the writing and it reflects in the writing when you are working on writing with them and you ask them to stretch their sentences and the adverbial extensions can work very well for you uh, regarding this matter. So, back to our sentence. The children played football in the playground yesterday. How do you think they felt when they were playing football? I mean, how did they play? The children played sadly or joyfully or joyfully. Okay, so you can extend your sentence and you can actually extend your sentence with the child. You can ask the child, how do you think they played? How did they feel? So joyfully, joyfully answers one of the adverbial extensions that we have here. We have a question, how? So you get the arrow and it comes out of the verb. And it answers the question, how? So the children played football, yes, in the playground yesterday, joyfully. Now, there is the advanced chart of the simple sentences with the adverbial extensions. But we would need just to clean up this work. So we're going to take the slips of paper away. Great. And We encourage you as much as possible to let the children create their own sentences with you and make up these sentences because this is what makes an impression for them as they stretch the sentences, okay? So here is the chart. You will see that it's actually kind of impressionistic chart and later on like we did with the simple sentences uh, chart is going to help them to construct their own sentences so it's a kind of more abstract level and an impressionistic chart so you're going to invite later on in another lesson the children to make up their own sentences and these questions will help them as they move on to be able to um, answer these questions with some words. So um, this is mainly the uh, what you need to do to cover this lesson and please try to isolate the difficulty with the children because they really would have a lot of fun with these lessons if we introduce them step by step and you will see this reflecting in their writing. Okay, so thank you for watching.